been called to thrive. No matter the prevailing circumstances, their spiritual keys to unlock good success and ensure victory in every area of life. Discover some of these life-changing keys in these incredible books by Apostle Pusola Jegede, 100 Days of Fire and Power. In our ever-changing world, where distractions arise and schedules shift, there are lots of obstacles to a consistent prayer life. But for us as believers, prayer is non-negotiable. That is why 100 Days of Fire and Power by Apostle Pusola Jegede is an excellent resource for everyone. It is a manual that will help you go before God as a covenant time consistently for 100 days and more, connecting you with divine grace, mercy, and God's limitless provision. Deliverance to go and break free. There are many spiritual battles raging in our world every day in deliverance to go, get knowledge on how to pray through life's challenges and receive much needed clarity on the subject of deliverance. Break Free, the sequel to Deliverance to Go, is a hands-on spiritual warfare manual containing actionable principles to win the war against spiritual bondage. Get this book and find out how to live as more than conquerors in Christ. Move to the next level. What is your next level? How do you get there? Move to the Next Level by Apostle Busupa Jegede is an instructional manual that will inspire and give you the prophetic push to your next level. This unique prayer plan is a must-have resource for spiritual and physical advancement. Lord, deliver and bless my marriage. The marital journey is first a spiritual one, so when crisis comes, we cannot afford to fight blindly. In Lord, deliver and bless my marriage, you will learn to fight for your marriage in the place of prayer and get practical solutions to overcome the many issues that may arise. Now more than ever before, we must pursue knowledge and be equipped for life's journey. These books by Apostle Busola Jegede are essential faith-building resources to help you win every battle. Get your copies today on conga.com or call 0803-304-8311 to place your orders. Since creation, women all over the world have had to endure through difficult circumstances. And time and time again, we have proven that we can rise above them. But sometimes, we find that on our journey, defeat seems inevitable. Today, we face challenges in our careers, marriages, homes, and businesses. Oftentimes, society turns its back and we are left all alone. At Daughters of Destiny, we want every woman to know that help is always available. We are here to offer godly and practical counsel for various issues peculiar to you as a woman. Contact us today via our counseling hotlines, 0708-307-6210. You will overcome. You are a daughter of destiny. We are daughters of destiny.
Bless your name, we worship you, our way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, the light in the darkness. Lift up your voice this morning and bless the name of the Lord. Yes, he's the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, the one that promises to keep watch over us for day and night. Lift up your voice this morning, the covenant keeping God. We worship you this morning. You are the light darkness. You shine and the darkness will not comprehend it. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Faithful and mighty God, there is none like you. There is none to be compared with you. You are worthy to be praised. You've done great and awesome things in our lives. I will lift up our voice this morning and say thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 80 of 100 Days of Fire and Power. Glory be to Jesus, day 80. I welcome you all. This is 100 Days of Fire and Power brought to you by the Ministry of Daughters of Destiny. 
is a denominational fellowship to God be the glory. My name is Mayola B. On behalf of Apostle Priscilla Jagede, I welcome you all. We thank the Lord. Yes, 20 more days to go. We give God all the faith. He is the faithful Father. And today's topic is rain on me. Hey, rain on me. The Lord will rain upon us and upon our family, the rain of abundance, the rain of increase the reign of progress in the name of Jesus. Please, I want to encourage you to like and share this broadcast as we do so the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Our text is taken from Zechariah 10 verse 1. He says, ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain. Grace in the grass in the field for everyone. Lift up your voice right now, begin to thank the Lord for the rain of mercy upon your family, upon your business, upon your ministry, upon your spouse, upon your children. Lift up your voice right now, begin to thank the Lord for the rain of mercy. If it is not by the mercy of God, we will not be here. Ah, it is because of his mercy that we are not consumed. His compassion faileth not. Makata Libra, that is compassion. Fairness not, we give God all the glory for his reign of mercy upon us, upon our family, upon our ministry, upon daughters of destiny, upon our businesses and careers. We give God all the glory for his mercy. Ha, my shakata, my brother, I say, I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Let's thank God for having mercy upon us, upon our family. It is because of that same mercy we are right this morning. Father, we thank you for your reign of mercy. We thank you for your reign of mercy upon our life. We give you all the glory. We thank you for your mercy that silenced the judgments of the enemy consigning us. We thank you for your mercy that has silenced the judgments of the enemy consigning us. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. Faithful God, we say thank you. Be that glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your voice right now and say, I decree that the heaven over my life, over my spouse, over my children, we continually be open in the name of Jesus. I decree that the heaven over my life, over my spouse and children, over daughters of destiny, we continually be open the heaven over our lives. The heaven upon our lives, upon our spouses and children, upon our businesses and career will continually be open throughout this year and beyond. We refuse to work on that Close level. Daughters of destiny refuse to walk down that close level. We decree let the heavens be open. Heaven of increase, heaven of abundance, heaven of announcements be open unto us and our children and our spouses in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord, make flashing clouds and, and release unto every aspect of my life. The rain in the time of the latter rain, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make flashing clouds and release unto every aspect of my life, every aspect of my spouse and children's life. The rain in the time of the latter rain, the latter rain of this month. Maka, we are already in the last part of this month. Let the latter rain of this month be released upon our life, upon the task of destiny, upon our spouses and children. Let the latter rain of this hundred days be released into our lives. Makota lava goda gada. Hey hey. Rakasakata. The Bible says the end of a thing is always better than than the beginning. Makota gada 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 ga. Let the latter rain of this hundred days begin to release upon us, upon our families. Makota lava rose ge de ge de ge de ge. Makuri katala gada. The latter rain of this month begin to release into our lives. Makata begin to rain 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 rain. Maroso Koto Every aspect of our life, in Jesus' mighty name. Please, I want to encourage you to like and share as you do so. The good Lord bless you. Lift up your voice and say, I receive the rain of abundance for every sphere of influence in the name of Jesus. Yes, the rain of abundance. No more scarcity in our lives, no more famine in our lives. Rain of abundance into our lives, into the lives of our spouses and children, into daughters of destiny. We receive 
the rain of abundance and the rain of increase. Mado gede 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 gede. Mako zakata ligada. The rain of abundance. The rain of abundance. The rain of increase into every area of our life in the name of Jesus. Every sphere of our life. Every area of our life. Every sphere of influence we receive the rain of abundance. Mako zakata at overflow. At overflow. Reke bako sokoto. At overflow. Marata le gede gede. At overflow. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, I decree showers of rain to every dry area of my life, marriage, ministry, and business. In the name of Jesus, I decree showers of rain into every dry area of my spouse, of my children's life, of daughters of destiny, showers of rain. When there is rain, everywhere is cool. Hey, hey, you don't feel the heat. When there is a rain, everywhere is calm. Roba kazakata. Every heat in your life is given way because the showers of rain is coming. Madoga dagada. Every heat in our marriage, in our ministry, in daughters of destiny, in our business, because the rain is coming. There is coolness. There is refreshing. Madole get get get. We will not feel the heat of life because the rain of God is coming upon us. We will not feel the heat of of life, our spouses and children will not feel the heat of this season. Matoli gada 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 gada, rika baka zaka taliga, coolness all around. Masoko toli gada, when there is rain, the flowers and the trees, the, the, the plants are looking fresh. Masoko toli gada, let there be freshness in our lives, in our marriages, in our business, in our career, in daughters of destiny. Freshness, freshness, aka rigaba, flourishing. Masota liga dagada, in the name of. Of Jesus, Psalm 65, verse 10. Thou watereth the ridges thereof abundantly, thou settlest the furrows thereof, thou maketh it soft to showers, thou blessed the spring thereof. Lift up your voice and say, Father, make every art part of my heart soft with your showers in the name of Jesus. The showers make things soft, every art part of my heart. Hey, the Lord will take away the stony art and give us the art of flesh, a art that is receptive to the world. A act that will obey the Lord. A act that will stay away from jealousy, from anger. Maroka Sakata Ligada. Father, every act part of my heart, of my spouse, of my children's heart. Oh Lord, let it be soft with your showers today. Makota Gada Gada Gada. Every artness of the art, let it give way right now. Matoko Toli Gada Gada Gada. Every artness of the art in the life of our spouses and children. Marika Sakata Ligede Gede Let it give way right now. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your voice and say, I will never run dry this year, 2021 and beyond. Hey, I will never run dry. My business, my career will never run dry. My ministry will never run dry. The life of my spouse will never run dry. The life of my children will never run dry. We will never run dry. Daughters of destiny will never run dry because there is a rain of abundance. We will never run dry. We will never see the dryness of this world. Financially, spiritually, physically, we will not see dryness. In this year, 2021 and beyond, our spouses and children will not experience dryness. Daughters of destiny will not experience dryness. In the name of Jesus. Please like and share those broadcasts as you do so. The good Lord bless you. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 says, The Lord shall open unto thee is good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in a season, and to bless all the works of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Lift up your voice and say, O oh Lord, open unto my family and I, your good treasure, to give rain to our land in its season in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, open unto my family and I, your good treasures. Open unto us your good treasure, to give rain to our land, our marriage land, our business land, our career land, the land of daughters of destiny. Makota li gada gada gada. In this season, matole gede gede. We call for good treasures into our life. Re pakosa kata. Good treasures, treasures hidden in the secret place. Re ke pakoto li gada gada. Treasures in the darkness, treasures in the land, treasures in the waters, treasures in the air. Marosa tala gada gada. The release unto us right. 
Father, give rain to our marriage land, to our business land, our career land, to the land of daughters of destiny. Let there be a flourish in this season. Let there be a flourish in our lives. We blossom. Our lives will be beautiful. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, I. Maybe Allah be shall lend to many nations, but I shall not borrow. Hey, hey, my family shall be lenders to nations. Hey, hey, we shall not be a borrower. Just like Abraham, just like Isaac, our, our families will be lenders to the nation. We will be lenders to the nation. Makato Ligada, we shall not be a borrower. We shall be lenders to nation. Natole Gede Gede Gede. Oh, Zatoli Gada Gada. Every yoke of poverty of one our lives be broken. Every yoke of borrowing be broken. The blessings of God will begin to overflow in our life. Abundant blessing that will cause us to be led us to nation. Every yoke of borrowing is destroyed over our life. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of borrowing is destroyed over our destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Luke 12, verse 54. And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud right out of the west straight away he said there cometh a shower and so it is lift up your voice and say i decree a shower is coming to cause a transformation in my family in my life in the life of my spouse and children in my ministry in my business in daughters of destiny we decree we call for that shower to come right now that will bring about a transformation have you been experiencing a dryness people will begin to say transformation Yes, your life will begin to look beautiful. Your life will begin to blossom and flourish because a shower is coming. We call it forth. Let there be a shower. Let it cause transformation in our marriages. Does that marriage that marriage is looking dry? It looks as if it's breaking up. But because a shower is coming, there is a transformation. Your marriage is looking green. Our daughters of destiny is looking green and flourishing. Our families, our spouses, our children. Ah, so tell you again, there's a transformation coming. That which eyes have not seen, that which ears have not heard, that which has not entered into the heart of man. A transformation that will cause our enemies to come and rejoice with us. A transformation that will cause us to be an amazement to our generation. A transformation that will cause the enemy to be <laughs> to be to, to, to come and celebrate it or say a divine surprise from the Lord is coming our way in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 34, verse 26. And I will make them and the places run about my ear a blessing. I will cause the shower to come down in a season. There shall be showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Lift up your voice and begin to prophesy. I prophesy shower of blessing and increase to every aspect of my life this year, to every aspect of my spouse and children life this year, in the name of Jesus, to every aspect of daughters of destiny, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy showers of blessing, showers of blessing and increase, 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 to every aspect of our life, we call it forth, in the name of Jesus, hey, Carol, it is a season of refreshing. It is a new dawn. It is a new era. It is a new season. A season of calmness and coolness. Ah, no more eat. No more eat of life. It is a season of flourishing and blossoming. It is a season of beautification. In Jesus' mighty name. Right now, we're going to pray for our nation. Lift up your voice and say, The Lord will give unto every dry sector of Nigeria and Israel showers of rain. Pray for your nation. The Lord will give unto Nigeria. 
at the land of Israel, the showers of rain, and to every sector. There is a rain, a rain of blessing and increase into Nigeria, a rain of flourishing and blossoming into Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice right now, begin to thank the Lord. Yes, 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 the Lord has rained upon us today. Yes, there is increase, there is flourishing, there is abundance. But no more in no more it's coolness all around in your marriage you will see coolness in your business and in your career in daughters of destiny coolness hey coolness hey no more it's marasa tali gada we receive it with a, with a grateful heart we receive it with a joyful heart father we say thank you to you the answers prayer shall all flesh come we thank you lord blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we pray amen Hallelujah. Good morning. Glory, glory be to Jesus. We give God praise this morning. Thank you so much, Pastor Mary. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. Hey, there shall be seasons refreshing from the Savior above. We say showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the shower we plead. There shall be, there shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. We say there shall be seasons refreshing from the Savior above. Somebody say showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead hallelujah good morning everyone and i pray that your life will not lack the showers of blessing may your life be well watered may my life be a well watered garden may you may everything you're doing be well watered there shall be no dryness in the name of jesus may your marriage be well watered in the name of jesus May your children be well watered. May your relationships be well watered. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, we give God all the glory and all the praise. Yes, good morning, everyone. I greet you on Facebook. I just came up on Instagram. My phone was charging. Yesterday was so, so, so explosive. I was so tired. I slept off without charging my phone. Yes, Sister Titi in Canada, how are you? And, uh, I'm looking forward to being with you uh, next Sunday on the North American uh, WhatsApp. Please inform all your members last Sunday of the month. Good morning, everyone. Nana, how are you? Sister Ngozi Pony, good morning. Josephine, good morning. Sister Ruth Kizzi, Susanna Davis. Bless you, Susanna Davis. Joy Oluye, good morning. Esther Irabo, morning, morning. Silveta. Mm. How are you, woman of God? Bolale Olagunchu, I greet you all. And on Instagram, I greet you all. Sorry, I'm just coming up. My phone was charging. Pastor Ifi Chioma, good morning, BBJ. Yes, today our topic on 100 days, day number 80, 80% is gone. Angelique, good morning. Good morning, yes. 80% of this journey has already gone. Now, if you're just joining us, we have a mobile app. Download the mobile app of Daughters of Destiny. Take your time to go through. I cannot, myself, I cannot even tell you how much has gone on on this broadcast. Laura, good morning. Coin, good morning. Ladies, good morning. I can't even tell you what has gone on on this broadcast. The thing about uh, 100 Days of Fire and Power, what I love about this program is it's always spontaneous. Though we plan, though we have a guide, 
the spirit of God takes over, ministers to us in different ways. So it is something that you will settle down time and time again, even personally, the words that have been shared through me, through other people, I must not miss out from everything. I have to go back and watch these things and remind myself and caution myself where I need to caution myself. You know, many times, even when you are preaching, you're preaching to yourself. <laughs> the word is coming through you, but it's for you. And so uh, awesome resource we have, and thank God for the mobile app. Also, it's on our YouTube page. Share it with your groups. This morning, we're talking about rain on me, and I want to give you seven dimensions of rain. Seven dimensions. Good morning, Pastor Ronke. Good morning. 80% is a pass mark. It's actually an excellent mark. <laughs> Pass, pass mark is about 40 or 50, but when you get to 80%, that's an excellent mark. So this morning, come with me. If you're just joining us, this is Daughters of Destiny, and the program is called 100 Days of Fire and Power, and we're right here on day number 80. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, after 100 Days of Fire and Power, we are going to start fire hour in the mornings. It's going to start in the mornings, Monday to Saturday, Monday to Saturday, just Mondays to Saturdays, fire hour, morning prayers. So please note that we cannot, what we have seen this year, we just cannot, we cannot keep still. We just have to keep on praying. And somebody, please, I don't want your altar the altar of consecration, it must not be desecrated. The fire on your altar must not go down. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I think I need my bottle of water. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Yes, 6 a.m. Just like this time, every 6 a.m. we're going to be broadcasting in the morning, Monday to Saturday. We will not broadcast on Sundays. It is only on 100 days because it's a marathon that will broadcast on Sundays. But after that, it's going to be fire hour morning prayers. Glory be to Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice and bless the name of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I am that I am, the strong and breasted one. I want you to thank God for what he's doing even in your life. Marakashakata. Say, Father, I thank you for what you have used this 100 days to ignite. You know, yesterday when I was preaching, I, I, I always do a review of my preaching within 24 hours and somebody you need to note that down that those were some of the things i was taught when when i was training my my mentor taught me any message you preach before 24 hours would end you must you must watch it from beginning to the end so that you know where you made mistake so that you can correct it so that you can you can do um a damage control if something has gone wrong. Okay. Oh, whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? I just missed that. Is it Angelique? Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Angelique. God bless you. More grace. More grace in Jesus' name, Angelique. You're blessed. I'm trying to see your chat. I want to believe it's Angelique that said it's her birthday. Good, yeah, I pray for you in this new year to be an awesome year. Get my book on strategic prayers for your birthday. Come for the launch and you can, you can still pray even though it's your birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Get everyone, please don't miss my book. The, the, okay, Angelique, your birthday is today. I pray for you, favor, blessings upon you 
and your family in Jesus' name. Don't miss my book, Strategic Prayers for Your Birthday. Even if your birthday has passed, don't miss it. Still fast and pray, okay? This is what has worked for me a lot. Many people do not attach importance to their birthday. For me, I have always keyed into my birthday. So come for the lunch. When you give us uh, your email address, you will be sent your own personalized copy. The ebook is free for everybody. When we're able to raise money, then uh -huh, that's, the, that's the launch. For people who don't know, I'm launching the book on Easter Monday, uh, Easter uh, Good Friday, Good Friday, April the 2nd. Strategic prayers for your birthday. And for those who are turning 50, your husband is turning 50. Even if your husband is not prayerful, please you encourage him and pray for him. You are already one. You will be shocked at the realms that will open up upon your life. This is what has blessed me personally. And this book is a loaded book, but uh, I'm giving out the ebook for free. When we're able to raise the money, then we will print the hard copy, which will be sold because of the financial implications. But for now, this ebook I'm sending to everybody for free. So um, we want to look at seven expressions of rain. I want you to personalize this into your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray it into your work and you will see the hand of God. What is it about rain? What is it about rain? When rain falls, what do you see? You see water coming down. Rain brings about a watering. There is a divine release from heaven. I'm prophesying to your life and mine. I'm releasing seven prophetic words about rain this morning. I'm prophesying to your life. There will be a divine watering. In the name of Jesus, nobody can stop the watering of the Lord. Nobody can stop the rain from falling. Nobody can shut the heavens. I speak to your life and mine, our work, and to daughters of destiny. That which God has purposed for us, none will be able to shut it down because it will be a watering from the Lord, a divine release from heaven. I decree to your life and mine that you receive a divine watering of the Holy Spirit. What is it about water? Water is life. I'm speaking life to that marriage. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking life to that health, that health challenge that you have. Let your body receive life. Let your finances receive life. In the name of our Lord Jesus, rain brings about a watering. As you receive the watering of life, let dead wombs come alive. In the name of Jesus, when you water a seed, it comes alive. As you receive the watering of God this morning, let dead certificates come alive. In the name of Jesus, dead proposals, situations that you have been waiting on, let them come alive in the name of Jesus. In your life, in my life, let dead finances come alive. In Daughters of Destiny, we decree a revival, a revival. A coming back, a renaissance. When you begin to water a dry garden, all of a sudden, life comes in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been dry in your life, in your marriage, in my own, in, in ministry of daughters of destiny, by the watering of the Lord, rain brings about a watering. Let there be a revival in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want you to pray that prayer into your life. Pray, pray, pray it into your life. Say, I receive the watering of the Holy Spirit. Rain brings about watering. Number two, prophetic declaration. Rain can lead to a flood. Ezekiel 47, verse number one. Ezekiel 47, verse number one. Then he brought me back to the door of the temple and there was water flowing from under the threshold of the temple towards the east. For the front of the temple faced east. The water was flowing from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. Now, this Bible verse talks about water flowing from the temple. If you read that Ezekiel 47, now said the water began to move from the ankle to the knees. The water began to increase. 
he says in verses 5, 6, and 5, Ezekiel 47, again, he measured 1,000, and it was a river I could not cross, for the water was too deep. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Water which we must swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, son of man, have you seen this? That water led to a flood, and the flood became a river. The flood became a river. I'm prophesying to your life, abundance of blessings, which would be too much. The water was so much, you couldn't walk in it. You had to swim in it. Somebody watching me right now, begin to swim inside the river of grace. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. In 2021, I will swim in the river of grace. See, there are some blessings you can hide. Some, you cannot hide it. When the pregnancy is eight months, you can't hide it. When, the, <laughs> when God turns away that captivity, it can no longer be hidden. Lift up your voice. I will swim in the river of favor. He says the water became so much, you couldn't even walk in it. The dimension <laughs> of the blessings upon your life, upon my life, upon daughters of destiny, upon your work will be so much, it will be a river. I swim in the river of enlargement in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voice. I swim in the river of power. We will not see the end. What God is going to release into our life, it will not dry up. In the name of Jesus, what God is releasing in your life will not dry up. That goodness, that favor, that grace, that mercy. Oh, so shall it be. <clears throat> Excuse me, in Jesus' name, I prophesy to somebody, your grace will not expire. Hey, in the name of Jesus, my grace will not expire. Your peace will not expire. My peace will not expire. In the name of Jesus, our waters will never dry up. Our anointing will not dry up. Our zeal will not dry up. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember the first prophetic declaration about rain is that wherever there is rain, there is a watering. Secondly, rain can lead to a flood and then a river, as we saw in Ezekiel 47. Next, number three, rain brings about refreshing. Anytime it rains, especially when it has been so hot, everywhere becomes cool. That's what Pastor Mary was praying about. The water refreshes, it rejuvenates. The atmosphere itself is cool. The ground is watered. I'm prophesying to somebody. Every spiritual dryness in your life, let it receive a refreshing of the rain of God, of the rain of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I speak a refreshing to that marriage that has been turbulent in the name of Jesus. I speak a refreshing to that work, to that business, financial refreshing in the name of Jesus. Malakata, I prophesy to your life and mine in the name of Jesus, marital refreshing. Let there be a fresh breath of peace, a fresh wave of unity. In our lives, in our marriages, in our relationships, in Jesus, much less name in the ministry of Daughters of Destiny, a refreshing, a refreshing increase, a refreshing power, a refreshing anointing, a refreshing greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. To be refreshed means you get a new boost. The journey is far. The journey is long. The journey of your life, you need to be refreshed. There are times we get tired. There are times things happen. But as long as God keeps refreshing you, you will not dry up. You will not dry out. You will not give up. Somebody let your prayer life receive a boost. Be refreshed in your prayer life in Jesus' name. I too, I receive a refreshing in my prayer life. I call forth a refreshing in our bodies. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. A refreshing, a refreshing. Father, refresh us in Daughters of Destiny. Refresh us, oh God. Refresh our husbands. Refresh our children. Refresh us, oh Lord. We'll not be frustrated. In the name of Jesus. A new ring of energy. And when God refreshes you, you have energy to continue. It leads to enlargement. Ha <laughs> ha. Glory be to Jesus. Number four, prophetic declaration concerning rain. 
declaring about the dimensions of rain. Ecclesiastes 11 verse number 3. Ecclesiastes 11 3. If the clouds are full of rain, <laughs> if the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. They pour rain on the earth. May your cloud of favor be filled with the rain of favor in Jesus' name. May my cloud of favor be full, be full of rain of favor. The cloud will not just appear and dissipate. Sometimes you see a cloud gathering. After a while, it disappears. That will not be your portion or my portion in Jesus' name. Marege boko sondoli gadagada. I pray for you and I. Our cloud that is full will release on us in Jesus' name. Our cloud that is full will release on us in Jesus' name. Our cloud that is full will release on us in Jesus' name. Your cloud of blessing, my cloud of blessing will not dissipate. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your cloud of blessing, my cloud of blessing to fill up with rain right now. Rain on you, rain on your work. In the name of Jesus, Rasikete, may the rain of increase fall on daughters of destiny. In Jesus' name, we call for the rain of increase. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every cloud to receive and release. <laughs> the cloud receives water and it releases. The cloud will not hold our water and not release. Hey, Magadaba Legete. Thank you, Father. If the clouds be full of rain, they must empty themselves. I'm speaking to things that are due to your life. Your inheritance come forth in Jesus' name. Your benefits come forth. The clouds gather over time. Things that are gathering for your life and my life over time. We call them to begin to release to us in Jesus' name. Anywhere your treasure, my treasure, has been accumulated. The cloud cannot just gather in and not fall. Of what use is the cloud that is dark and doesn't release rain? Of what use? Today I decree anywhere your cloud has gathered, mass security, anywhere my cloud has gathered and received rain, it will not shut it up. Our heavens will not be shut up in Jesus' name. Our heavens begin to release, release, release. In the name of Jesus, release goodness, release favor, release mercy, release increase upon our life, upon our walk, upon daughters of destiny and BGIM. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Number five. We are looking at expressions of rain. Number five says, rain comes in seasons. Mm -hmm. There is the early rain and there is the latter rain. Deuteronomy 11 verse 14. Deuteronomy 11 verse 14. You see, the early rain comes to soften the ground. Right now in Nigeria, we are having the early rains. At about end of March to April, intermittently rain begins to fall. That's what you call the early rain. It softens the ground and makes it easy for the farmer to plant because the dry season must have hardened the ground. Somebody, you have gone through a dry season. You have gone through a dry season. Hey, a new season is about to start in your life. Just watch out and be prepared. So when the early rain comes, it softens the ground. That's the function of the early rain. Then there is the latter rain. <laughs> The one that needs to water the seed and make it to grow. Deuteronomy 11 verse 14. I will give you the rain for your land in its season. The early rain and the latter rain that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your oil. Lift up your voice and say my early rain. The early rain is important. The early rain will ensure you don't fall away because we've been through a dry season. God can give you some blessings to keep you before the major one will come. Five years ago, almost six years ago, I didn't have a good car. I kept praying. I remember that hundred days. You know, people say, don't pray for car. Me, I prayed for a car because I needed a car. I prayed and prayed. I said, God, this is the type of car that I want. I prayed and prayed and prayed throughout that hundred days. 
the hundred days finished, I didn't get the car. But sometime at the, towards the end of the year, in that uh, year 2015, I went to pray for his sister who was having her 40th birthday. She invited me to come and pray for her, her family. And when I finished praying for her, I went. Two days later, the sister came and said her husband bought her a car for her 40th birthday. But the pastor, this is the car I'm using now. My husband and I were giving you this car because he has bought me another car. People of God, that car was my early reign because it, it did not make me to be discouraged. You understand? Because I prayed for 100 days that God should give me a car. I didn't have a good car and I didn't get a car. But later, God gave me that to comfort me. That hold on. But I just said, oh, but God, this is not the kind of car I prayed for. But thank you. Thank you, Lord. Somebody, there is a blessing that will come your way. It is the preliminary breakthrough to the major breakthrough. It is not exactly what you're believing for. Please, it's important you get this point. It's not exactly what you're believing for, but it is something that will hold you and let you know that God is on your side. Imagine I went to pray for her for her birthday. I didn't have a good car. And she brought that car. That's the car I'm still using now. Very sound car. But it wasn't exactly the car that I prayed for. And I know God is still going to give me that car. Something that you are believing God for, you have not actually got, gotten it. That's the early rain. God will give you something to keep you. He will give you peace. He will give you something. It's very important that you get this so that you don't think that God is not answering your prayer. Some things are not right because the car I wanted to buy, I didn't have the money. But the Bible says, whatsoever you desire, uh -huh. pray is my desire. I just desired it. It's a stepping stone. Thank you very much. God will give you a stepping stone before the major thing. Before the major thing. And at the fullness of time, when it's not going to kill you, there are some things we are asking God for now. It's not the fullness of time, but our hearts are desiring it. That's why it's important to understand the principle of the early rain. The principle of the early rain. The early rain is not what is going to water the seed. It will just soften the ground. You have, there's, it's so, there's been so much heat and discomfort, the early rain will come to cool you down, just cool down. God is coming. That testimony is coming. It's a comforting blessing, the early rain. If we begin to analyze what are the characteristics of the early rain, the early rain comes to confirm to you that God is with you. The early rain comes to raise your hope that don't lose hope Something is on the way. The early rain comes to sustain you so you don't fall away. The early rain comes to fill the void that may be there. It is not exactly what you're looking for, but at least it sustains you. It's a stepping stone to your testimony. And you need to give God thanks for the early rain. You need to thank him for the early rain because without the early rain, people may wither and go away. So I don't know the early rain you have received in your life. Some of you have received an early rain. You, are, you know, some of you may be praying, you are praying for a boy. You want to give birth to a boy. That pregnancy, all of a sudden, you gave birth to a girl. At least the girl is alive and well. It will still give you another thing. So look at that. The early rain. Rain comes in seasons. That's the fifth dimension of rain. I'm prophesying to your life and mine. I'm prophesying to your work and daughters of destiny. Ah, lift up your voice and prophesy to yourself. Say my early rain of mercy, my early rain of favor, my early rain of abundance, my early rain of anointing fall in Jesus name. I receive you with thanksgiving. I will not complain. Don't complain about your early rain. That no, no, no. When the sister gave me, that was towards my 50th birthday. That year, 2015, I turned 50. That was the car. 
and we were going to start uh, 100 days. You know, she gave me towards the end of the year. And so the next 100 days, it was, I mean, <laughs> I had a good car to use because it was 6 a.m. and it was in the ministry. It's not, we're not doing it online, I mean, on Zoom. I had to drive to the ministry every morning by 6 a.m. Pastor Ronke was still in Nigeria. And that car was very instrumental during Hamatan, you know, early in January, there was still Hamatan. I didn't have any day of downtime because I had the early rain. The early rain of that car, it helped me. Begin to thank God for your early rain. Don't say, ah, God, this is not what I asked for now. That's the early rain. The latter rain is still coming. If you learn to give God thanks for the early rain, it will usher in the latter rain. You must never ever, <laughs> you must never ever not be sensitive to the early rain. Otherwise you will not plant. The early rain is a signal, start to plant. Plant your thanksgiving, plant your seed. <laughs> the latter rain is coming. Deuteronomy 11 verse 14. Thank God for that preliminary testimony in your life. Thank God for that thing. You're believing God for a husband, but God gave you a job. That's the early rain. That's the early rain. You need to thank God for that. God is doing something in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, water my earth. My path will not run dry. In the name of Jesus, my latter rain. Now begin to call forth my latter rain. The latter rain is the rain of increase. The latter rain is what makes the seed to germinate. Ah, ah, ah. Your latter rain, it always comes big. So the rain that falls in March to April can never be compared to the rain that will fall in June and July if you're in Nigeria. Sometimes seven days rain will fall. We, I will not witness it in Nigeria. Sometimes it will be raining for three days, nonstop. There's going to be a torrent of blessing. So what is it about the latter rain? Oh, my shake it. La Rebo Kosoto. Oh, Flourishing Kemzo, good to see you on the broadcast. Good morning. Welcome. What is it about the latter rain? You need to call for the latter rain. You must be prepared for your latter rain. Mm. The early rain has warned you. A latter rain is coming. When latter rain starts to fall, there can be flooding. You know? mm. There can be flooding. You know? but your land must be well irrigated. Your land must be well irrigated. When the latter rain begins to fall, when blessings begin to fall, your character must be able to take it. Your character must be able to take it. When the latter rain comes in a big way, you must be prepared emotionally, physically. You must develop capacity to maximize your latter rain. Ah, la katabali kata. Latter rain is coming to somebody in that work. It will not be wasted in Jesus' name. When the latter rain comes, why are we doing capacity building? Why are we doing leadership training? <laughs> because the ministry that started with 21 women, God gave us early rain. We were increasing bit by bit. After a while, it became international. Some people want to go to latter rain before they, they don't want to they don't want to prepare. Early rain helps you to prepare to till your ground. Because when latter rain comes and you are not prepared, the water can turn to a flood. It can flood the home. But when your gutters are clean in Nigeria, when rain is falling, you see people clearing the drains. So that the rain will not have a counter effect. Hallelujah. If, if rain is not properly managed, it will have a counter effect. It will flow into the sitting room. It will flow anywhere it's not supposed to. Somebody, I pray for you. When the blessings of God comes upon your life in a big way, you will not lose it. I will not lose it. In the name of Jesus, my humility will be in place. Maraka Shandali Gada. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Say in the name of Jesus, I call for the latter rain of increase, the latter rain of restoration, the latter rain of abundance into my work. We call that latter rain. You need it. Your business must go to the next level. 
in the name of Jesus, your business must scale. The ministry must scale. It takes the anointing of the latter rain for you to scale on what you're doing. In the name of Jesus, I receive it for my life. I receive it for my business. I receive it for the ministry in Jesus' name. The latter rain helps you to scale. It helps you to enlarge glory. Let me tell you, there are some things you cannot do if you don't have money. I learned that in business. I learned that in ministry. There are some things you can only wish and hope. If you don't have the money, you don't have the capacity, you can do them. There are some benefits that the latter rain brings into your life. And when it comes into your life, you are now able to do it. You may still be struggling now, so it depends on your season. When the latter rain comes, it gives you the capacity to scale and enlarge. You can hire this hall. You can pay for this. You can pay for that. That's the benefit of the latter rain. Some things cannot be done if there's no money. They say money is the, is the will of a gospel. <laughs> I pray for you and I that God will release the blessings of the latter rain of finances into daughters of destiny, into your life, into your work. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Next, this, <laughs> hallelujah. We are just on number five. Wow, glory, glory, glory. I need to speed up. Are you enjoying this, people of God? Yes, we need to speed up. I said I'm sharing with you seven, seven dimensions of rain. We're prophesying it. Who can remember? Let's do a recap. I like to recap so that I don't lose you. Let's do a recap. What was the first one? Rain brings about a watering. Rain brings about a watering. Number two, rain can lead to a river, a flood and a river. Number three, rain brings about refreshing. Rain brings about refreshing. Use this to pray. Use this to prophesy into your life. Rain brings about refreshing. Number four, if the cloud be full of rain, it will empty itself upon the earth. Your cloud must deliver to you. You know, sometimes there's a cloud here and rain is falling in another place. That will not be your portion or my portion. My cloud that has gathered rain will fall upon my, my garden. It will not go and fall elsewhere in Jesus' name. Number five, rain comes in seasons. The latter rain, the early rain. Glory be to Jesus. Yes, so let's go on. Number six, rain releases divine capacity to the earth to produce fruit. Rain releases divine capacity to the earth to produce fruit. Rain releases divine capacity to the earth to produce fruit. You see, without water, the conditions necessary for a seed to germinate is not complete. You can put the seed in the ground, you can cover it with the earth, but without water, it cannot produce. So it's important for rain, for your rain to fall upon your work, upon your life. It's very, very important. James chapter number five, verse 18. James chapter number five, verse 18. And he prayed again, talking about Elijah. Remember the contest on Mount Carmel? He had prayed, God, let it rain. He had told the king it's going to rain. But when he got to his place, he started praying. And then he was sending his servant, go and check. That one said, I saw a cloud like the feast, like the size of the feast of the hand. <laughs> he prayed again. Elijah prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. Rain releases divine capacity to the earth to produce fruit. Just like a man releases a seed into a woman, rain releases moisture to the earth. You are going to lift up your voice. My path will not be dry. When Elijah was praying, the cloud was small. He continued to pray until the cloud was heavy enough to drop down. 
Some of you are praying, but your cloud is not loaded enough. You have to continue to pray until it gets to the tipping point. The tipping point is the point where us, whereby when a trailer wants to discharge, you see there is a rod that will push the back of the trailer. When the rod is going up, the, it does not discharge on time until it gets to what is called the tipping point. Your heaven must get to the point where it is triggered to release. Uh, if you have not seen it, you continue to pray. Elijah continued to pray with his head bent. Ah, God, my ministry will not be disgraced. I have already told the king that rain is about to fall. Marakashandalaba, somebody pray. That testimony I'm waiting for, the rain must fall. The rain of that testimony, lift up your voice. Rain releases divine capacity for the earth to produce fruit. Father, Lord, read that, that rain that will release divine capacity to me. Let it fill up. Let it fill up in the name of Jesus. I receive divine capacity. Father, Lord, water my earth. My path will not be dry. My earth will not be like a desert. In Jesus' name, I pray for somebody. I prophesy to your life. The Lord will water your earth, water your path. Your path will not be dry. Let the rain of productivity fall on you, fall on your work. In Jesus' name, let the rain of productivity fall on me, fall on daughters of destiny. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, let the rain of productivity fall on our children. After we have sent them to school to obtain an education, their certificate will not be stagnant. Let the Lord water your certificate. Let the Lord water your proposal. In the name of Jesus, that seed that you already have, let there be a watering of the Lord so that it will be productive, divine capacity. Right now, I call it forth, Markata. I call forth another contract. Let the Lord water you with favor today. In the name of Jesus, I call forth contract. For those of you who have lost your job, are looking for one contract or the other. La rebo kosondo ligata. Let the Lord water your certificate, water your potential, water your credentials. Now, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord water my ministry, water, 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 so that it begins to produce our seeds that we have been gathering in any form. Let the watering of the Lord make our seed to have divine capacity to germinate. In Jesus' name, I speak to your seeds. My seeds germinate by the watering of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. The last but not the least, I've shared seven. Right now, this is the seventh expression of rain, which you should learn to you should learn to prophesy it into your life. If things are not working, prophesy into your life. If things are not working, prophesy into your life. Glory be to Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Maraka shanda li gadabada. Prophesy. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Amen. Number seven. Rain brings an end to a season of drought. Rain brings an end to a season of drought. If you have been going through a season of drought, Rain will bring an end to that lack in the name of Jesus. Rain brings an end to a season of drought. First Kings 18, verse 41. First Kings 18, verse 41. Elijah said to Ahab, go up, eat and drink, for there is sound of abundance of rain. There is the sound of abundance of rain. Yes. It brings an end to a season of drought. You are going to lift up your voice now and speak to every season of dryness. Speak to any area of dryness. Speak to any area of barrenness. Speak to any area of drought in your life. Say financial drought, come to an end in my life in Jesus' name. Speak, speak, speak. When people are sleeping, you speak. When people are complaining, you speak. Lift up your voice. Say financial drought, come to an end in my life in Jesus' name. Marital drought, come to an end in my life in Jesus' name. Spiritual drought, come to an end in my life in Jesus' name. Drought in the life of my children, 
Those who don't have job, let the drought come to an end in Jesus' name. Ah, those who are not married, let that drought come to an end in Jesus' name. Reke boko shandali career drought come to an end. Rain brings an end to a season of drought. In the name of Jesus, ma decree and declare every season of drought in my life, in my family, come to an end. Come to an end. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Ah, thank you for a season of freshness in Daughters of Destiny. Every drought come to an end. I welcome a new season of freshness, a new season of fruitfulness, a new season of fruiting, a new season of greenery. Oh, Malika Tabaya. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. We have shared seven dimensions of rain this morning. I've prophesied the seven expressions of rain. Rain brings about a watering. There is the early rain and the latter rain. You need to, you need to appreciate and celebrate your early rain because your latter rain is coming. Rain brings about a refreshing, a rejuvenation. Wherever there is rain, there is divine capacity to produce. Rain brings an end to a season of drought. I don't know which one has resonated with you, but I pray that the Lord water you abundantly this week. I pray that your life will not be dry in any, in any area in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Let's get our Holy Communion this morning. Let's get our Holy Communion. Father, we thank you. Today is day number 80 on 100 days of fire and power. We thank you, O oh Lord, for watering this program. <laughs> the Lord watered this program this year. At least we had stability for a long portion of the, of the broadcast. And God will continue to give us that stability till the end in Jesus' name. Lord, we will thank you. Get your Holy Communion as we partake. We thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. We receive it with thanksgiving. We thank you for the power in his flesh. We receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's partake. As we receive the Holy Communion today, we receive a divine watering of the reign of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in our families. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to take our confessions. Today is Sunday. Yes. I thank God for bringing me to 2021, my year of triple grace. I declare that by the grace of God in my life and family, this year, 2021, I will arise and shine. Whatever I start, I will finish. I will build and inhabit. I will plant and eat thereof. When I run, I will not be weary. I will walk and make profit. Whatever I conceive, I will birth. Whenever I seek, I will find. Every vision God gives me, I will execute. I will abase and abound. I will observe and do according to the leading of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. That's my portion. That's your portion. You will succeed. I will succeed in Jesus' matchless name. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We want to thank everyone giving towards the food bank. Yesterday, we fed 220 people in the city of Lagos. We are keep making good our word to feed the needy. Remember, <clears throat> breaking barriers before your breakthrough. Every barrier before your breakthrough is broken in Jesus' name. As we are fasting throughout this month of March, that's why it's important you give to the poor as you are fasting. All those giving towards the food bank and the welfare, God bless you. And all those giving towards the showers of grace building, the Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you so much, everyone. Till tomorrow, when I come your way again, God bless you. My name is Busola Jegede, and this is Daughters of Destiny. If you're just joining us for the first time, we celebrate you. Can you just write, it's my first time? If it's your first time, can you write, it's my first time? We welcome you 
and we thank God for your life. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow. to Trump. God bless you. If you think it's your first time, God bless you abundantly. We celebrate you.